Hello everyone, I'm Bill Shires with Stone Age Water Blast Tools and I'm here to introduce to you our dealers a new product they're introducing into our automated solutions lineup of equipment for 2014. What this is, is part of our four cleaner family. This is the PGC 100. This is a unit that is specifically designed to clean paint crates in their automotive assembly plants, places like Toyota, BMW, GM. We got a lot of really valuable tool input and design parameters from contractors that do this on a daily basis. So what you'll find here is benefits that are upgrades from our prior versions of, of deck blasters and paint grate cleaners, but then also other options that were on some of our competitors' equipment. But here you'll see all the, all the nuances that everybody's looking for all in one nice new package. So at the highest level, the, the specs for this tool uh, is rated for 40,000 PSI, capable of up to 12 gallons a minute. Uh, most operators are typically running a little less gallons per minute from that. The overall size and scope of the machine is designed to fit through the doorways to get from paint booth to paint booth and also have a lot of ergonomics to uh, be able to pick it up and put it in the back of your truck and move it from uh, one facility to the next. So I'll start from one end of the machine and work our way to the other end. Uh, one of the first uh, design enhancements was some ergonomic handles and levers. So what you'll see here is that we have a, a two-way handle system that goes to a center leg. But an operator, if he gets fatigued, can take one hand off and run it with the other and do it with the other one like this. So a lot of ergonomics there. We've also added these safety bars so that while in operation, if you were to get up against a pole or a walkway uh, handle rail or something, um, that doesn't activate the dump accidentally. The next big feature was an automatic on-off kill switch. So this switch here terminates the rotation speed as well as the uh, deactivating the dump valve. Uh, so everything turns off in case there's an emergency. As I go through the machine here a little bit further, we've added two handles here, one in the middle and one towards the front here for adding portability. So one, uh, two guys can effectively carry this machine. When using it at higher flow rates, we've added this wheelie bar here. And what you'll notice here, this is the first of several times I'll show you, that there's no tools required to remove pins. All this is done with the idea of being able to be very modular and quick. So this can tuck up out of the way if you don't need to use it. When you do need to use it, you can easily put it right back into place. So the wheelie bar, is key for when you're using the higher flows, like up to that 10, 12 gallons a minute, there may be a little lift from the dome and this keeps it so everything's centered there and the weight is kept forward. Some of the next advancements were all metal wheels. In fact, this whole unit is designed to be cleaned with a rotary shotgun after your paint booth cleaning to get all the live paint and debris off of it after each cycle. The next step is real easy, uh, no tools required adjustments for the rotary bar, um, arms inside the dome as well as the dome itself. And so we have these handles here that allow you to adjust the uh, manifold. So what you didn't see there is inside this dome is the forearm manifold. It can be raised or lowered very easily. You would then use these quick handles to then tighten everything up in place. You can also adjust the dome height itself again with these quick release clips and tighteners. You can then adjust the dome. So you can adjust and, and play uh, judging on your productivity rates what needs to be at the right height. There's a center roll pin here, and by doing this, that allows you to get around and into corners and around poles very easily. And then what I'd like to show you is what those manifold looks like on the inside. So what we have here is a forearm manifold with the 40,000 PSI fittings, but you'll notice that these arms are adjustable. You can clamp them into place once you have the adjustments right, but the idea here is that as this rotates, you can hit all sides of the grates as the operator is moving across it. Typical bar heads then that shoot straight down miss a lot of the angles of each of those plates. 
So just a little bit of adjustment there in your first couple of operations and then you'll find that what degree works the best for the size and space of the grating that you're trying to clean. A couple of the specific units um, required to operate this, this machine. One is the UHS swivel. So this is uh, rated at uh, 40,000 PSI and up to 12 gallons a minute. This is a much less expensive and much smaller uh, rotary coupling than we've used in the past. We also have in the back your compressed air will come into an oiler that's part of the assembly already. And your high pressure water inlet comes in right through here. And then your air motor and air lines come through this compact gassed air motor. So like uh, many things in water blasting, uh, removing paint from paint grates in these automobile plants, it's half art and half science. And so feel free to talk to us about speed rates, uh, traverse rates, and productivity results uh, based on your type of situations. Each situation is a little bit different. There's different types of paints. There's, um, there's different coatings. Uh, there's live paint. Each of these have little uh, nuances to make you, uh, that require a bit more education and testing and experience uh, to be really productive at them. So please feel free to call us up and we'll be happy to talk to you about it. And um, thank you very much for watching uh, our release for the, uh, the paint grate, the PGC 100.